we're gonna try FSD. So we got the new 2020.8.40.12. It has the new UI. It's pretty incredible because, um, th actually this is my very first time using FSD uh, since the update. It's just so much more smooth. You can tell my steering wheel is not going like this anymore. It's just, it's kind of like when you're on autopilot on the highway where it just gradually moves and yeah, it's great. We're actually, we don't have anything plugged into navigation. We're just letting it drive down the street. We're in, um, we were just driving off off-roading with the drone. Is it driving off? Yep. Look at the dog. Look at the dog. <laughs> So it actually had a little bit of trouble finding the, the road edge because it's the, the gravel is just uh, off to the side, but we can still engage it here. This is super good test. This is this kind of reminds me of Hawaii. Um, the roads are like this. You know, there's not really def clearly defined road edges. There's no lines. Um, it's really not struggling all that bad. I'll still, I'll never forget, you know, uh, my friend was with me and when, on dot 10, it, the car was just going uh, back and forth across the road. It was making us pretty car sick, but um, this is very different even on unmarked roads I mean you can see it's starting to move a little bit more here the car starting to twitch a little bit more but it's not like jerking the wheel so so dramatically we actually have the skydio in front of us The sky is actually pretty cool. I mean, it was really nice that we had it when we did our drive in Auburn because it helped us understand the distances between the vehicles. Because when you're in the inside and the cars kind of act a little bit strange, you don't know. But, you know, at least with the Skydio footage, when we saw it, we saw we had distance between objects. Actually, we're, we're camping over here. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Yeah, because there's the railroad tracks. We'll just put the pin here. We'll let it full self drive. It should go that way. Mm -hmm. Signal's kind of low here, but... We should be going down. Okay, so I'm just going to go this way and override the, what the navs have, because this is the right road here. We'll 
Let's re-engage FSD. Um, we have marks here. seeing green dots appear there's actually a bunch of rocks alongside the road I think that's actually what those green dots are so it's kind of like starting to detect potholes and strange things I don't think that there's well there's map data here but we're definitely kind of like in the middle of nowhere we were on gravel roads for a while we just went back on the pavement how much better it's tracking the road like it's not swerving a lot you know so that's good no it's mm. it, it so the speed limit sign is 45 but for some reason the, the map data is only 25 so we can't drive faster. Hopefully there's a sign up here that'll kick the speed up. I mean, I can override it, but I kind of want to see how it handles slowing down and, you know, there's, there's no clearly marked lines here. I mean, it's doing a really good job detecting road edge with no visible lane lines. So we have a big truck approaching. It, should position itself to the right. I'm just not going to even risk that. <laughs> it kind of pulled the wheel a little bit to the left as we were going near that truck, so uh, I had to overtake. So now we have a 40. So this should pop up to 40 and let us go faster. Yeah, there it goes. Should I go 40 or 45? 40. Can I slow down? 